Hello everybody, we are next to the King's Cross station because we are going to York and we've never been there before so we're so excited. Look at the kids, look how excited they are. <laughs> we are going to York! And as a true fan of Harry Potter, I have to tell you that if you departing from the King's Cross station, you have to visit platform 9 and 3 quarter and gift shop right next to it. When entering King's Cross station, look out for the platform 9 and 3 quarter sign and a half trolley installed in the brick wall underneath it. Snap a photo and if you have some extra time, make sure to explore the Harry Potter shop. We decided to go to York by train, not by car, because it is much comfortable for kids and it takes less than two hours compared to four and a half hours by car. We were traveling with LNUR and they have these super speedy trains, they go 200 km per hour, so we arrived in York in no time. Two hours later we arrived to York railway station. It is so beautiful. It is truly spectacular. It was opened in 1877 and it was the largest railway station in the world. Remember this scene when Hagrid is taking Harry Potter to platform 9 and record for the first time? And then they stop on the bridge so he can give him his ticket and then Hagrid vanished. The pedestrian bridge across the platforms at York Station was used as a Harry Potter filming location in Philosopher's Stone. It looked quite different today though, as barriers are now made of plastic rather than thick metal beams. Our hotel is conveniently located right next to train station. Look at this beauty. And we'll be staying here for two nights. Look at this room! Oh. I mean, this is insane. This is gorgeous. I feel so welcomed in York already. Look at these gifts. Oh my god, thank you so much, Principal Hotel. This is incredible. This is our bathroom for tonight. Oh, there is a shower over here as well. Nice. And on the other side, there is a toilet and a walk-in closet. <laughs> Guys, one more thing. Look at these windows. <laughs> this is just crazy. Look at the size of it. Oh, someone is calling. Excuse me. Hello. So it was called from the reception. They booked us for the pool, for swimming pool for tomorrow and Wednesday. So this is the view from our room. Isn't it lovely? Guys, this is unbelievable because from our room we can see York Minster. Wow. Kids haven't seen this room yet, so let's open the door and let them in. Kids? Yeah. Shall we try a bed? Yeah. Shall we jump on it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think bed is fine. I want my one. It was tested. Do you like it here? Do you like it here? <laughs> Steady, go! <laughs> Guys, I'm in love with this room, but also I forgot to mention that they use Antipods skincare. Black currant scent is my favorite. Also, we have a separate sink in the toilet, so hopefully 
there will be no queue in the morning. And now we're off to dinner and I didn't pack anything for evening outing so I will be wearing this t-shirt and my jeans. York is a city in northeast England in historic county of Yorkshire, once ruled by the Romans and later the Vikings, who called it Jovik. York is beautiful in the evening. All those cobbled streets and shop fronts make you feel like you traveled back in time. Good morning everyone, I just had my morning walk and I went live on Instagram for the first time in forever so make sure to follow me on my Instagram page and now we ought to have breakfast Rosie, that's milk for your cereal <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? This is our hotel in its full glory. By the way, this is our room. I think we have the best view over this garden. This coffee shop is insane. Look, <laughs> look at this room. This is their dungeon. Wow. So that's the second day in York today. And we just picked up coffee from the Perky Peacock, the coffee shop I showed you earlier. I'm currently sitting in that dungeon room. Um, so anyway, for today we have tickets booked to visit York Minster and uh, Jovic Museum. So for now, I think we're gonna go on this York cat trail. I think for kids it will be fun. And we're gonna visit the shambles. The Shambles is one of the best preserved medieval streets in the UK and the oldest street in York. It was mentioned in a doomsday book of William the Conqueror in 1086. The term shambles is derived from an old English word shamal, meaning slaughterhouse. Many buildings on this street date back to the 14th century and still have butcher's hooks out front. The street was made narrow with overhand timber framed buildings on purpose to keep meat out of direct sunlight. We can only imagine how bad it smelled back then, but there was no hygiene laws as it exists today. But nowadays, it smells more pleasant with aromas from fudge and chocolate shops. We couldn't leave York without trying the famous fudge and we couldn't choose just one flavor, so we took them all. <laughs> This little cobble street with wonky houses looks like Diagon Alley. And although Diagon Alley wasn't filmed in York, it is filled with Harry Potter themed shops. World of Wizardry, Enchanted Galaxy, The Potions Cauldron. And the most popular, as it is usually the one with the longest queue, the shop that must not be named.
There are two types of butter beer here. This one we tried in Cambridge. And this one is new one. I've never tried this one before. So this is what I got. This Costa, platform nine and three quarter Costa for my desk in the office. And this flying cauldron butterscotch beer lemonade. Because I've never tried this one before. Next to the shambles, there is this Whip Mawop Magate Street, and it's the shortest street in York. The name is first recorded in 1505 as Witnawot Nagate, meaning Water Street. Also, there are several all year round Christmas shops in York, so we decided to buy Christmas ornament for a Christmas tree. The wonders of life got the prettiest side. For everyone to enjoy Standing up close by the Christmas tree Glimmering light, I am right where I want to be I'll be home for a couple of days Wander around with you You and me in the cold, thought it'd never be true Wherever I go, I got you Oh, I have stopped running There, there are lots of beautiful Christmas ornaments and I found one for us. Then we started our York Cat Trail outside York Glass, which is home to York Lucky Cats, and we managed to spot only seven cats all over town. The original cat statues in York were placed on buildings to frighten away rats and mice, which can carry plague and illness. They were also thought to ward off wandering evil spirits. And then, as planned, it was time to visit York Minster, one of the world's most magnificent cathedrals. Look how greasy all the boxes are. <laughs> okay, so this is turkey. Oh, Tur that's turkey for me. stuffing with potatoes and wedge with cranberry sauce on, on the side. Mm. Another one was turkey. This is pork with apple sauce on the side with wedge and potatoes and stuffing. Mm, yum, yum. Served in a large, huge, oversized Yorkshire pudding. York has many mysterious alleyways, those secret passages, or better say, sneakleways. And Lady Packard's Yard is one of the most beautiful sneakleways of York, with Tudor-style buildings on one side. Another one is this coffee yard sneakle way, which leads to this hidden medieval gem, Bali Hall, that was hidden under the modern facade up until 1980. Jovik Viking Center is a must-see for everyone who visits York. It is not just a museum, this is Viking Age city of Jovik as it stood nearly 1000 years ago. Reconstruction of Viking Age streets and life as it would have been in 10th century York. So we just visited Jovic Museum and it is so immersive. I mean, I've never been to the museum like that before. It is 10 out of 10. Highly recommend to visit it. And then we continued our walk and kept discovering new places on every corner. 
And although York is quite small, I feel like even two days is not enough to discover it all. When in Yorkshire, we do Yorkshire tea. <laughs> and fudge. Good morning, everyone. It's our third day in York. And I couldn't feel my legs today in the morning because of all the walkings these past few days. But we had a morning session in the swimming pool following by English breakfast. So I'm feeling much better now. I'd say we've seen everything we wanted to see. And I think York is so underestimated. It is much more than just one day trip destination. You need at least three days to not just see it, but to feel it and to fully immerse yourself into its history. All those beautiful buildings and history in every corner. Honestly, I fell in love with York. So the plan for today is quite simple. Just visiting National Railway Museum. It is free. You just need to book your time slot and also I booked some place for lunch and basically that's it checking out from our the principal hotel room and heading back to london on lnr azuma train and this is the christmas ornament that i choose i think it looks so cute Look, there's a bathroom in a carriage. Well, basically, there's a proper room. Table and a bed. And this is a post office carriage. Look at this. So many letters. Never seen anything like this. So we came to Partizan Coffee Shop for lunch and this place is so busy so I highly recommend you to, to book your table and they have great food, locally sourced and nice coffee. So that's what we ordered, it smashed avocado on toast with feta, look at the size, <laughs> look at the size of it and this one is Partizan breakfast with toast as well and iced coffee. We had an amazing time in York. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Have a lovely day and I'll see you soon. Bye!